Now something I was looking for is how long is this drill bit exactly and that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna measure it out because I couldn't find that online so it's about 32 inches that's the drill bit as you guys could see and yes the width is about 8 inches the setup itself is gonna be quite easy so we're gonna get on with that the first thing we have to do is go to our drill bit And we have this that came in our package. So all we have to do is just put this right here and screw it in. Once you're done with that, in the other end from your drill bit, you're gonna see this up here. So all we have to do is just take this out Technically, you would need to, to hold the other side. And we're gonna take that out. So I just use this to hold the other side from moving. Now right here on the bottom, you guys will notice this. Just take that out. And that's where we're gonna insert the drill bit. So you will notice that they will align perfectly fine. Now this part will be a lot easier with another person. So once you got your drill bit right in here, we just need to go on and place these two to secure everything. So right here on the other side, you can see that that went through. So I can go on and just place this right here. Once this is nice and tightly secure, we're done installing the drill bit. Now there's a couple of things to note about this. On the side, you will see the on and off. So in order to turn it on, you do have to press it down. It's gonna turn on. This right here is the starter handle. And on this side, we're also gonna see the choke and run. So before we get started, we do have to bring it down all the way to choke. And once it starts going, we can bring it halfway. And then once we hear it, we hear that motor running just fine, we can go ahead and make it just run. On this side, you will notice the fuel tank, so we can open that up. Obviously, we need some regular fuel in there. And right on this side, you will also notice this, and we can actually press on it, okay? And we're supposed to do that in order to start this up. So that's the primer bulb. So as we set things up, remember that you get, did get this, you do need to mix the entire content of this bottle with one gallon of gas. So just in case you're still not 100% sure how much gas to oil, here's your ratio. Once we fill this up with gas and the stabilizer, we can go ahead and pump right here on the side the primer bulb three to six times. Obviously, I would go for six times in the start. So all you have to do is just press on it and you're gonna pump it for those six times. Then, like I mentioned before, right here, we're gonna see choke. So just set it all the way down to choke. Make sure this is also powered on. Then this right here is your starter handle. All we have to do is just go ahead and pull it. After five pulls, if it doesn't do it, usually you just need to pump it one more time and then pull it again. Once you get this going, move it from choke to half choke let it warm up a little bit more and then go ahead and hit run and of course to get the drill bit going you see this right here just press on it and hold on to it and then it's gonna start working to stop this from running at any time just press off So for sure you guys can do this by yourselves if there's no rocks in the way or anything like that that will stop the machine which doesn't really stop it it actually will try to keep going but instead of keep going 
it's gonna drag you along. So in my case, since my deck was right beside me, it would smash me against my deck. And that's why I later on asked my wife to help me out, and that way it was much, much easier. Also, when you're pulling out, you have to do it straight. Do not do it sideways, it's just not gonna come out sideways. And there's no reverse on this, so you can only go downwards. So if you're pulling it up, you have to pull it up straight. And then it just comes out really, really easy, so that's not hard at all. If you come across a rock, yes, you will have to pick it up yourself, take it all out, and then keep going. Any even small rocks will get in the way, so you will have to take those away. So anything, maybe half the size of your hand, you might have to take it out manually, because the machine will not go through that. Obviously anything bigger will stop the machine 100%. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.